come back to Spain. Well, our star guests this morning are ELO, and talking to us from the band is Bev Bevan. We've broken into your holiday as well, haven't we? Yes, I'm on holiday in Menorca, so I've just nipped across the, uh, the med here. Is this a little bit of a rest now for the band? Because you've just come back from the American tour, and you're starting on a British one very soon. Yeah, we did a six-week American tour, and we, we were taking all of August off, except for today. <laughs> and then we start on a British tour uh, on the 22nd of, um, of uh, September. Now, ELO always were a live band. I mm -hmm. remember going to see the Spaceship Tour in 19... used to play. And it was a spectacle. It was, it was really something to see. You can never capture that on video. What about the new tour? Are you going to do the same sort of thing? Yeah, well, well since ELO Part 2 started, like five yeah. years, we've been touring now for the last five years as ELO Part 2. And uh, the next tour, the British tour, we've got, we're having a new, a new stage set built, yeah. uh, real state-of-the-art lights and lasers, the whole business. It's going to be very spectacular touring. Yeah. Do you find that technology has moved so far forward that it's going to be even easier for you to do all these things now? Because you were quite innovative, weren't you, in the Yeah, early well, when days? we started, we were trying to amplify cellos and violins and stuff. It was really difficult. But now, with, um, especially with all the keyboard innovations, it's the, the sound is... Uh, it's fantastic these days, yeah. When you see somebody like Michael Jackson mm -hmm. and Madonna, do you think back to the old days? Do you think, oh, we've done it before? Well, we, do, we, were, on, we were one of the first, as you said, the spaceship tour. We, yeah. uh, we went out on a limb and tried to do something really, really spectacular. It's really you and Earth, Wind and Fire, wasn't That's it? That's right, uh, yeah, they were. Uh, I they saw were them as well at Bingley yeah, Hall. Yeah, same year, I think, yeah. Now, when you split up in 1986, which mm -hmm. was phase one of ELO, yeah. and you had that final album out, did you think then that you were going to get back together, or did everybody just go their separate ways and say, thank you, good night? Well, it, it, we went our separate ways. We did, we've done that, we did that before over the years. We used to take periods of time off yeah. and get back together. But when I wanted to bring ELO back out of, again about in like 89, mm -hmm. and I asked Jeff, um, he wasn't interested. He was too busy. Mm -hmm. Actually, he's a very successful record producer. So um, four of the old guys in ELO got together with some, a couple of new guys, and uh, mm -hmm. here we are. And here you are only just. Because ah, we have had a little bit of a drama. We have this drama morning. indeed. We very nearly didn't manage to see ELO live because Saul Bates, who is one of the new members, the lead singer, mm -hmm. has just had an accident. He's been to the hospital. He is now back. He's got stitches in his <laughs> chin. He's got blood over his t shirt. It's a good job he's wearing a red t shirt. What a trooper. So uh, he is a bit of a trooper. Mm. So thank you very much, Phil. A few aspirins, and he's here. So here are ELO with their latest single, It's Breaking Down the Walls. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for ELO. <laughs>
guitarist here in the studio. Elo's latest single, and uh, we hope that Phil feels better with his.